But in terms of the governance of the city, I can see, I can trace um, uh, particularly West India merchants whose influence is increasing in the Bank of England, for example, in the 1790s and the early 1800s. Uh, and what's very striking to me is how often the, uh, the City of London, the Bank of England, the government directly bundle money towards slave owners when they're in trouble. And so this kind of lender of last resort activity by the Bank of England, which you know, became established in the late 19th century as being as common practice, seems to begin uh, in the late 18th century around the West India trade. West India trade is a very uh, rich trade, but it's, it's risky and it fluctuates um, significantly.